what are packages let us learn about what a package is all about a package is nothing but which allows you to group the number of classes annotations enumeration interfaces or anything together but why for your space management mainly what happens when you create number of classes separately it becomes difficult for you to find where did you create this class or an interface or where it lies so in order to have a proper space management and to have a proper control over these classes and all you have created one package so it says a package is nothing but grouping of these classes and interfaces for your access protection and for your space management but why do you need this what is the main intention of this why because it avoids the naming conflict for an example you have created a class called addition now can you create another class for addition if you create a class with the same name then it becomes confusion for the programmers or for yourself which class is to perform what kind of an action to avoid these kind of naming conflicts you create a class under one package for an example you have created one addition class in package 1 and another addition class in package 2 so it becomes easier for you to understand which class falls under where it will avoid the naming conflicts it will not allow you to rewrite with the same class name and you will have a better control because you know this particular class or interface falls under this now when you have created the classes and the interfaces under a particular package it becomes available for you or it becomes knowledge for you that yes these classes are available under this package and it will help you or becomes easier for you to call these classes and interfaces that is what it says in order to prevent the naming conflict control access to search and locate these classes and interfaces it becomes easier next it says that these packages can be categorized into two forms one is built in the next one is user defined what are these built in packages built in packages are nothing but which or what java has already provided that is java has in built certain packages which is helpful for you like java.util or lang io and so other packages you have something awt packages that is nothing for your user interaction you have io package which is nothing but for your input output operation lang package which combines or group the fundamental classes and so on so java has implemented certain its own packages which is available for you by default next is your user defined package what are these user defined package along with the packages available you can define certain other your own packages as per your need for an example you have created certain classes interfaces or so on and you want to group all of them under your own package you say that i have created certain classes which are performing mathematical function addition subtraction or so and so or you can say that i have created certain interfaces or classes that are performing certain operations on operators like arithmetic relational and so on operators now you want to group all these classes under one package and provide the package name as operator so now when the programmer comes and check can go directly to the package called as operator because it will become readability and easy for the programmer to access and understand yes this package name is operator it means it consists all the classes and interfaces that work on operators now how would you create a package in order to create a package we use a keyword called package and how do you declare you write package package name and semicolon this is how you create a package what if you have created a class or any other classes where you do not provide the statement called as package and the package name what happens if you do not provide or create a class and interface under any package then that particular class or interface will fall under your default package and if you want to create a class or an interface under a package you have to write your package name now if you have created this package statement how would you execute in your java so here you have the syntax which says that you have java c minus d the destination then the file name 
here this d is nothing but the destination where do you want to store or where do you want to execute what is the class file name right and this dot this dot has nothing but important function saying that it is the default package please store at the default package the class that you have created store it in your default package then what does this import keyword does now you know what a package package is nothing but you group all the classes related to each other it becomes easier for the programmer to go search for it or look it for it and read it now for an example you have created this package operators which has number of classes right now you have created another class but in another package by mistake that is in package operator you have created and the next class that you have created is of your addition or any other class in next package package 2 okay but you want to extend the behavior of one of the classes that is in package 1 one of the operators classes in your package 2 how would you do that in order to do that you have to import the package 1 in your package 2 and how would you do that with the help of a keyword called import and then you write the package name and when you import the package class like you have package 1 package 2 now in package 2 when you are trying to import the package 1 what happens this particular class that falls under package 2 will be able to inherit the all classes and interface that falls in package 1 irrespective of a particular class now I have created an addition class in package 2 and I say I want to extend from a particular class only then you can provide a particular class name and if you're not sure which class you're trying to access then you can provide the package name that is you import the complete package you will be able to extend the behavior of all the classes and interfaces that fall under package 1 but important note is that you cannot inherit or call the subclasses of those classes and interfaces from the package that you are trying to import now what is the syntax if you want to import this you have one of the options you write the import keyword dot you write the wildcard that is nothing but your this particular character right so this is the symbol that you use if you use the symbol you say that i am trying to call all the classes and interfaces that fall under package one and then if you say import keyword dot class name if you are very much sure which particular class that you would want to inherit then you can write import then the package dot this particular class otherwise how do you write import the package one dot this particular symbol in the second case you write import then the package one dot the class file name and then semicolon the last one it says that fully qualified name of the class if you want to call how would you call if you want to call the particular package in the class this will be called when you instantiate your class so this is one of the example where we have created a package with the package keyword package keyword the package name in this we have a class in the next package we are trying to call the package one so you use it by calling import keyword package one dot the symbol or import package one dot the class file name or this is how you call the fully qualified name that is the package one dot the class file name and you create its object reference so let us to execute this program in practical to understand how you can create a package and then how can you call a package into another package or how do you instantiate or fully qualified name of a package so in this example we shall see how you can create a package and then a class under this package and then call a particular class of a package into another package so one way is to create by clicking on right click new and then click on package this will ask you to provide the package name i say package 3 is my package name and I click on finish and as you can see this is a package with empty it means this package is empty with no classes and if you want to define or create a class under this package you right click on it click on new and then select the class because this is a Java class I would just provide any class name and I say ABC is my class name okay 
So this is how you create a package and then a class under this package. And if you would want to display any message, similarly, how do you do that? You first write your main method, static void main string asked and then if you want to display any message under it. And I say this is my ABC class okay and if you want to execute again you press on F11 and this executes your file. So the other way to create package would be you use a keyword called package and then you provide your package name followed with a semicolon. Now the concern is that if you would want to use this ABC class under your another package how do you do that. So we have created two classes under two different package A class under package 1 and B class under package 2 and I want to call this class A of package 1 under B class of package 2. So the second package is package package name. Now there are three ways to call a class of another package. How do you do that? If you want to call a particular class of a particular package then you can write input the package name dot the class file name. This is the first instance. Second, if you want to call all the classes or the interfaces or you are saying that in my current class, I may inherit the behavior or the property of any other the class available in package one where you are not sure which class file. In those cases, you use the concept of a wildcard. So you write input package name dot the wildcard and then the semicolon. Third is that the way you use a fully qualified name. When I say fully qualified name, whenever you create a class under a single package, the class name or the package name gets bound to each other. It means I have created a class B in its main method. I am trying to call or inherit or call the method that is display method of class A, right? You are inheriting the behavior from class A of different package. So you need to provide fully qualified name and when you say fully qualified name it means you need to provide the package name dot the class name then the object reference equals to new package name and then the class name. This is similar to how you instantiate a class. How you instantiate a class is that you write the class name then the reference equals to new the class name which is your constructor name right and then with the help of object reference you call its method. In the similar way it's just that to identify that we are trying to call from this particular package. If you see, I have made these both the statements and comments. It means in order to find that this A class is being called from package 1, you have to provide fully qualified name. Or if you do not want to provide fully qualified name and you just want to create a reference for A class, then you can use any of this statement. If you want to see, let us just remove this fully qualified name and you should see now what kind of an error it says. It says that a cannot be resolved to a type. It means A, this particular thing cannot be resolved to a type. It means there is no particular type defined. And if you want to define from a particular type, you need to either import. If you now see the error is gone because this A type is been recognized from package 1. And if you want for a particular class file, then you can say this particular is defined. For an example, you have created another class, okay. You are trying to import the package 3 and you say from ABC class file and but you are here providing A. Will you be able to call? No, because you have to define from where are you trying to call this package. Either you are trying to call from package 1 or you provide the fully qualified name. So I provide fully qualified name. I write package one dot a and then again equal to new package one dot a. So this is how you're trying to call a method which is a display method from package one a class. So now let us execute this file. Right. So now when you execute, as you can see in the console, it displays example program and this example program was defined in your a.java class which is under package 1.